In this video, I introduce a variational autoencoder in machine learning. Variational autoencoder consists of one encoder and one decoder, which is used to reconstruct the input distribution. The encoder encodes the training data set into the latent space, while the decoder reconstructs the input distribution by using latent variables Z sampled from the latent space. Our goal is to use the autoencoding variational basic method to find the variational parameters phi and the model parameter set. The log marginal probability is the sum over the log marginal probabilities of individual data points because uh, x1 to xn are independent. For a single data point, the log likelihood is equal to sum of uh, KL divergence and the lower band. Because the KL, KL divergence is non-negative, maximizing the log likelihood is equivalent to maximize the low band. Using the channel, the lower band expressed as a sum of two terms. In the first term, we use the marginal probability to replace the posterior because the Generally speaking, a generative model can use the samples from a noise distribution to generate a new distribution. However, if a noise distribution is in a very large range, the samples from it cannot be used to generate a meaningful result. To solve this problem, an encoder is used to restrict the distribution in a small range so that the samples from the restricted distribution can be used to generate a meaningful result. The second term is a negative variation free energy. Z is a random variable and sampled from a distribution Q. Therefore, we cannot calculate the gradient of error to change the autoencoder model in the back propagation method. To solve this problem, we use a parameterization trick to change the a random variable to a deterministic variable. Choosing the approximate posterior, so we arbitrarily try for the random variable z as a z wave from a differentiable transformation function g. Namely, we introduce a random variable epsilon from uh, this normal distribution and uh, through this uh, transformation function G changes a, a random variable to a deterministic variable. Using the a parameterization trick, the uh, auto-encoding variational uh, basic estimate is uh, defined as a sum of uh, difference of uh, two terms here, we use uh, the approximate uh, posterior to replace the true posterior. Z is not a random variable, so we can uh, calculate the gradient of uh, error to train the model. For uh, the lower band for the full data set, it's written as a sum of uh, is a lower band for each data point. So uh, we can calculate the gradient of error with respect to uh, this uh, variational parameters phi. And then now uh, we can uh, use uh, this uh, gradient to train the autoencoder model. Given the uh, deterministic uh, mapping Z, uh, we have uh, this equation, namely, we can uh, uh, change this uh, integral over the z to uh, integral over the epsilon. That is uh, a random value. And then uh, we use a uh, Monte Carlo approximation, convert this uh, two uh, integrals to the expectations. And then uh, we use a uh, Monte Carlo sampling to calculate uh, this uh, expectation, and then I uh, calculated the gradient of the 
log likelihood with respect to phi. Namely, in the original problem, uh, because z is a random variable, so we cannot uh, calculate the uh, gradient of log likelihood to train the model using the back uh, propagation method. However, using the a parameterization trick, uh, we can uh, introduce by introduce this uh, random variable epsilon, and then uh, we uh, use this uh, transformation function g to change this uh, random variable to a deterministic variable. So we can calculate the gradient of the log likelihood, and then uh, this uh, a gradient can uh, back propagate through this uh, autoencoder model to train the model. After we train the model, the autoencoder can be used to reconstruct the input distribution or generate a new distribution. For more details, please check with these references. Thank you. Bye.